Today I'm going to um, explain to you the elements of the anatomical position, the different planes, and what homeostasis means, and two examples of organ systems that um, homeostasis maintains. So first, the elements of our anatomical position are superior, which is above the body. So your head is superior to your chest. Inferior is below the body, so your waist is inferior from your head. And anterior is the front of your body. And then posterior would be the back of your body. Medial is towards the midline, so your midline starts here and it's all the middle of your body, literally. And then lateral would be away from the midline, so your shoulder is away from your midline. And cephalid is towards your head, so like your ears towards your head. And the caudal is towards the tail, so the tail of your body. The dorsal is backside, and this can also be called your posterior. And then your ventral is belly side, which can also be called anterior. And proximal is near the trunk or point of attachment. So here's your point of attachment, your shoulders and your hips. So you say your elbow is proximal to the wrist because it's closer to the point of attachment. And then you have distal, which is further from point of attachment. So your wrist is distal to your elbow because it is further from the point of attachment, which is here. And then your body is divided into three planes. You have sagittal, frontal, and transverse. Sagittal plane divides your body in half. So like mid-sagittal, same thing as medial, it divides your body into right and left, so that it would go straight down and it would go through your body and behind. So that's right and left. And then you have the frontal plane, which divides your body into front and back, so it would go through your body this way, and you would have your front half and your back half. And this would be anterior and posterior. So then you have transverse, which divides your body in half. And that would be anywhere from up here down here. You would have your superior and inferior. So that divides your body in half. And homeostasis maintains a balance in the body and keeps the body, the body's level stable. So your body's always going through homeostasis to keep your oxygen levels um, stable, your temperature, your um, to keep your blood flowing. I mean, it it's always going in your body to keep everything stable and make sure all your levels are always stable. So that's always going on. And the digestive system, two organ systems, um, two example organ systems that um, homeostasis maintains, one of them is the digestive system because um, homeostasis maintains this because you have, it filters out your, the toxins, the waste in your body, it makes sure that you're getting that out because if not, it'll get backed up and all those toxins can make, your, make you very, very sick. So that's what homeostasis is doing. It's keeping the flow of things and making sure that it's not getting backed up in your body and your levels stay straight. And 
Another example of homeostasis, um, another organ system that homeostasis maintains is the circulatory system. Um, homeostasis maintains this by monitor monitoring and helping the flow of your blood in your body so that it doesn't clot. So um, constantly our blood has to keep flowing and if it, if it doesn't, if it, something happens and it stops flowing, it can clot, that can kill us potentially. So um, homeostasis is there to make sure everything is keeping on track and keeping those that blood flowing. So thank you.